Hey! Hi! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming Channel, where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites, and hopefully add all kinds of awesome games to your backlog, or your wish list, or your now playing list, or whatever you're doing out there. It is my intention every time to add to it. And I'll tell you what, if you like roguelikes and roguelites, you are in just such a fantastic place to hang out. One of the best places in all of the interwebs, I'd argue. I'm glad you're here with us. So, I am back again with more The Void Reigns Upon Her Heart. This is a roguelite shmup. And I love it. I, I have to admit, I keep coming back to it. It's got charm. It's got some mystery to it. I haven't quite figured out everything that's going on, but I want to keep digging into this one. I think there's a lot under the hood. So we're going to do that. That's the plan. Last time, we opened up an upgrade called the Pale Box, and at that point I was wondering if the game does have some kind of permanent stat progression. And it does seem like there are components of that to be found in the game. I don't know how wild we can get with the different types of upgrades, Perhaps we'll find out along the way uh, if we continue to try and dive deeper and deeper into the game. Split hearts plus one, heart damage plus 0.5. That's great. So we'll have another stream of hearts along the way, which will help. All right, we're gonna go after Dendra High. We'll get some zap defense, and if we can score at least 1200 modes we'll get another capability out of it oh boy the game does seem to have a binding of Isaac type of storytelling to it where you unlock more and more as you complete more runs successfully. Uh, if you've played Binding of Isaac, you know exactly what I'm talking about there. Uh, the narrative just kind of slowly reveals itself over time. And that's been a fun aspect to this game as well. This is your first time seeing the game. Uh, when these circles appear, it's because the surrounding air has been irradiated and this is kind of a circle of protection, if you will. It adds a nice layer to the overall bullet hell challenge. So we're going to have a run in the Void Reigns Upon Her Heart today. And we'll see how we can do. Hopefully we'll come out with the W. But if we don't, we'll at least have a good time blowing off parts of monsters. It's another thing that I really appreciate about this game. Okay, we passed. Radiant defense plus three and a 25% heal, which we don't need because we didn't take any damage in that fight. All right, let's see what Ambro offers. Break 22 parts that have moats in them. And then some kind of two-star gift as well. 
Let's go for it. Last time out, we were graced with some pretty nice gifts along the way, and I felt pretty powerful. If we can find that feather blast again, that was basically a shotgun, that would make me quite happy. Alright, we're doing really well. Combo is still going below there. And this is really the point at which we're going to be able to knock off some parts. Those are being tracked down in the lower right corner there. And we're going to try to nail all 22 of them if we can. I think the power shots help quite a bit with knocking off the pieces. Hey, we've reached our goal at this point. Now we can just take out the boss. Wonderful. Cheers to you, by the way. Super zesty. Heal 6 HP after every battle. All damage plus 5%. Beautiful. Plus one panic attack. All right, so we've got four panic attacks in stock. You start the game with three. Chapter two, The Darkness. Prisma. I like this guy because I've also got some appendages that can be blown apart here. This is one of the bosses that you can kind of render useless out there. There we go. Step one. I saw this game described out there as Cuphead in Space the other day. I like that. Game has a lot of mystery to it, and I was curious about the opportunity for permanent progression in the game, and so I was doing some looking around and, you know, happened upon that fun description for it. I gotta tell you, Cuphead is a game that broke me in so many ways. And I have a lot of love for it. Murky Paint, Toxic Defense plus three. All right, so a lot of defensive buffs that we've taken in so far. I'd, I'd hope for some offensive capabilities to drop. Let's see if we can see any of them. Nope, that is still obscured. Longer immunity after a hit. Okay, so I'm gonna go after the Venom Veil because I'm hoping one of those is something on the offensive side. I had a good buddy that I played some Cuphead with and, you know, we did a decent job. Uh, through many parts of that game, making it all the way to the final section. And if you have seen that encounter with Mr. Dice, I, I think that might actually be his name. I I'm, you know, going off of uh, memory that, well, you know, I'll tell you, you get old, Ah, the memory is what it is. Sometimes it fails you, you know. But but we get by, right? Get to this encounter with Mr. Dice, and it is a series of very tough challenges. All right, can we finish? I think we got flawless, folks. I think we did it. All right, quick might, movement plus one. Hey, that's pretty good. All damage plus 12%. That's serious stuff. 
All right, so we got the offensive we were hoping for, which is great. I need some orange moats, specifically. Uh, let's see what's on offer here if we can. All right, a lot of obscured stuff. How about Rendy? Rendy's offering a two star. Uh, we're, you know what, we're gonna go off this and go for the two star and hope for the best. I think we're gonna be able to blow off Rendy's legs. How about you? Sorry, Rendy. Sorry in advance about your legs. Oh, this is uh, this is quite something here. Took the hit. Didn't didn't fire off the panic attack quite in time. That's okay. Our right, Rendy's legs are being punished. is vomiting some bile mess that is then splashing everywhere. This guy kind of reminds me of something out of Noida, doesn't it? How about you? gonna push that crap up in the air. I have such respect for players that were able to topple that final encounter in Cuphead and complete it. Uh, we were not able to. That's a game that I would love to push some roguelite features into. Cuphead. Alright, I wonder if he cannot bounce anymore now that we have wiped out his legs officially. Let's see if that's a thing. It appears that that's a thing. Oh, no. Okay, I take it back. Maybe he's not bouncing as high. Alright. Perfect. That would be fun to play Cuphead and add some additional capabilities. Heal and gang temporary power when hurt. Okay, that sounds okay. I'm gonna have to maybe think about that. Approaching Cuphead as a roguelite, similar to what we're doing with Returnal. Because I bet there's many of you out there that have not seen everything that Cuphead has to offer and it might be fun to add some additional buffs along the way as if it was a roguelite. Now, I know there are some upgrades that you can come into. And I'll admit, they were not enough for me. I, I needed more help. I'll have to see what's out there in terms of mods that might be available for the game. And then, you know, maybe we'll take it to a vote when we finish Returnal. Or maybe some of you want to weigh in right now and say, Hey, Goat, you know what? That's that's a terrible, horrible, awful idea. How dare you? I'm offended and hurt. Or maybe you say, Hey, Goat, how soon can we start this? But Let, Let's start the process. We're ready. We're ready for this. See, that's what makes this fun. We can, we can figure these things out together and, and do cool things. Oh, should we be breaking apart these pieces? I wonder if that's a thing on this boss. You know, they're they're very about breaking appendages of, of bosses, and so am I. But you get uh, you get extra points sometimes, extra moats for breaking the the chunks of bosses off. And I guess we'll see how we do, right? 
Okay, determination, all damage plus 2.5% per defense unit, a minimum of plus 25%. Wow, you can warp across the screen. You've got a warp synapse now. Interesting. Karma's building. Still no orange motes yet. Definitely want to see those drop. There's more rewards here. Let's go with this. Oh, wow. Okay, this is uh, a different looking Momo than what I'm used to. Which is another interesting part of this game. You know, you're fighting them at different difficulty levels. And it changes the encounter. I really like that about this game. blow those pedals to hell if we can. I don't think the circular things can be blown apart, but we're about to make good on this. There we go. I think he is... Oh, okay. We can take those things out, turns out. That was a great encounter. Zap, bullet helper, plus one panic attack, plus two yellow tetrids. Outstanding. Hey, we got the orange tetrid. That's great. That is great. Okay, let's take a look here. How about not not... So, less gifts over there, maybe. More gifts over there, potentially, if I'm understanding this right. Heart candy. Do not get hurt three times for the challenge. Versus, we don't know what any of these are. Um, let's go for it. Let's go level six. I think we'll get more karma which allows for the dropping of extra special opportunities uh, in terms of the gifts. I hope it wasn't a no-hit challenge because uh, that's out the door now, folks. But we are going to blow apart as many of these eyeballs as we can, per usual. Speaking of eyeballs getting blown apart, can I just take a step back? I, I really like horror films. They are... Are they my favorite genre? They might be my favorite genre of film. I'm talking about when they're done right. You know, there are bad horror movies out there. We can, we can all agree on that. But I really like them when they are done well. Here's what I want to say, though. I can handle the blood and guts if it's done for good reason. Okay. Zap charge energized plus 10%, max health plus 2, plus 2 red tetrids, and some additional karma. Nice. So we got all the awards. I can do the blood and guts. The, the most recent Evil Dead movie, I was able to watch that. Didn't have to look away very much. Eyeball stuff, though? See, that's where I'm going with this. The eyeball stuff? That's hard for me. It really is. The monsters are already level six. Why won't she just give up? No, we're not giving up. We can do this. She quickly shakes off all feelings of self-doubt. She continues onward with full confidence in her ability. We're gonna, we're gonna be confident. We are gonna take on the day. Oh, we're already at the end here. Look at us, look at us. Let's go with the one that has the pale box. Let's do that. Okay, 
Okay, we have four panic attacks if we need them. Apparently haven't used very many of them. Oh man. Rough start, rough start. Looking for an opportunity to get down and I'm just not seeing it, so go ahead and fire off a panicker. That was that was a big hit. Big chunk of health that time. Alright, second panic attack fired off. Fire off another one, why not? We got them, gotta use them, that's what they're for. And we are now looking at the final phase here. I love the music. Outstanding. Okay, another pale box. Some karma, some radiant motes. Perfect. There was no warmth. There was no love. There was nothing. The Void had come for her once again. She should have surrendered to the Void. There would be no more pain. No more existence as such a horrid creature. But she refused. She had gained so much love. Her heart began to glow. All the love could not be contained. I misread that last time around. I said it could be contained. Her heart grew brighter. The darkness was being pushed away. We know what happens here. Love erupted brilliantly from her heart. The entirety of the void was illuminated. The void was completely filled with love. A filled void cannot exist. It was completely erased away. She could finally go outside again. She could feel the grass again. She could see the flowers again. She could feel loved again. But it was only temporary, as we know. The monsters would forget her by morning. They always did. The Void would come back for her. It always did. But she would continue trying, and so will we. She would not give up. She will find a way out. Why? 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 Why doesn't she just give up? Why can't I make her stop? Why does she continue trying? I do not understand. She is in constant pain. Oh, this is interesting. This is your fault, isn't it? You did this to her. You make her persist when she should have given up long ago. Do you know what you have done? Do you realize what she is? She cannot fly. This world has deemed her worthless. But you think she is worth something. You have only prolonged her suffering. Who is the real monster here? Interesting. I'm telling you folks, it keeps me coming back. It's very interesting how this is all developing. As we play more and more, we're seeing different stuff. We're at 9.3%. Let's go in to the Upgrade Gifts section, and I want to take a look at this one. Okay, are these all pale? No. This one is different. Let's see what this says. Oh, we can't because we don't have enough orange tetrids. 
bugger. Okay, so we could radiate this one, but I kind of want to wait on the next orange moat before we do that. So you know what? We'll see you next time, because as long as you're up for it, I'm up for more The Void Reigns Upon Her Heart. As long as folks are enjoying this, and I know these are shorter videos compared to some of the longer stuff that's out there, but, you know, it's nice to have some diversity in terms of video length. Some of you prefer the bite-sized videos. You get in there with a cup of coffee, you say cheers to everybody, and, uh, you know, you're, you're on with your day, right? You're out there doing the things that you do, seeing people, doing your thing. I get it. I get it. I'm doing my thing, too. We're all doing our thing. Hey, let's do this thing again sometime out on the Goat Force Gaming channel where we'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because, damn it, that's what we do every time out here, you know? We'll give away a video game, too, because we do that at least once a week. Those are fun. Giveaways are great. You're great. I'll see you again next time. Take care out there.